welcome back to Stad Pierre de Coubertin, the founder of the modern Olympic Games, the founder of the International Olympic Committee, and how fitting that we're playing in the stadium named after him, because in 2024, Paris and France will stage a third Summer Olympic Games. Well, two more quarterfinals to come after that thrilling, thrilling women's singles. Our next match is men's doubles, and it features the former world champions, Ali Jun Hui and Yu Chen, up against Tiroyuki Endo and Yuta Watanabe, the left and right-handed combination. And then our last match, we will finish with the last of the women's singles, the Olympic champion, Carolina Marin, against the former world champion, Rachinuk Intanon. So when we look at the men's doubles draw from quarterfinal stage, five seeds, six different nationalities, two pairs from China, two from Japan at the quarterfinal stage. We lost uh, two seeds, actually, in the first round. Alfian and Ardianto, the number six seeds, lost to Bo and Conrad Peterson. And uh, the World Championship silver medalists, uh, Takoro Hoki and Hugo Kobayashi, they lost in the first round as well. And then a shock in the second round, because Ranki Reddy and Shetty, who we were watching earlier, uh, beat the Danes, Astrup and Rasmussen. They had beaten the reigning world champions, Hassan and Setia one in the second round. So, uh, five of the eight uh, last 16 matches went to three games. Very competitive, this men's doubles. And here at quarterfinal stage, five uh, players, two pairs, who had contested the men's doubles final here in the past. And I can tell you that top section was the two pairs who had contested the final before, because that quarterfinal between Gideon and Sukamolio and Han Cheng Kai and Zhao Haodong was a repeat of last year's final when he unseeded, then unseeded Han Cheng Kai and Zhao Haodong defeated the world number ones. But uh, the world number ones have got revenge this year. Sukamolio and Gideon safely threw in two straight games. Only 31 minutes for 23-21, 21-14. And uh, the uh, number four seeds, Komora and Sonora, they went down to the unseeded uh, Liu Min Chong and Su Cheng Heng of Chinese Taipei. That was two games as well, as you can see, 38 minutes for that one. So who is going to join those other pairs in this quarter-final? Will it be the number five seeds, Hiroyuki Endo and Yuta Watanabe, coming into the stadium first? Or will it be the former world champions, Lee Jun Kuei and Yu Yu Chen? Well, for Hiroyuki Endo, he was one of the players who contested a final before because five years ago he reached the final with Kenichi Hawakawa. Lost out to Bo and Mogensen in that final. Well, just look at the height difference between these two pairs. The Chinese pair known on the badminton circuit as the Twin Towers. Now you can see this will be the eighth meeting between these two pairs and of the previous seven, Li Junhui and Liu Yu Chen have won four of them, but more importantly, they won the last three encounters. The last time they met was in the semi-final of the Thailand Open Super 500 event. 21-13, 22-20 in 38 minutes, the victory for the former world champions in Bangkok earlier this year. So they're known as the Twin Towers for a very good reason. Li Junhui and Yu Chen, as they are some of the tallest athletes in the sport of badminton. But here is the man who has contested a final. And this is Hiroyuki Endo. 32 years of age now, born in Kawaguchi, 
in Saitama Prefecture, in the greater Tokyo region. He actually reached number two in the world ranking with his former partner, Kenichi Haokawa, with whom he reached the final here. But he and his partner, Yuta Watanabe, the left-hander, who's 22 years of age, born in Suginami, which is part of Tokyo. Uh, you can see that he and his current partner have been as high as number four in the world. And that was very recently, that was earlier this year, one week. And they're now number six in the world. Only their second appearance as a pair here at the French Open. But in the first round here this year, they beat the Olympic bronze medalists, Marcus Ellis and Chris Langridge in two straight games and then beat Inoue and Kanako, another left and right-handed combination from Japan. So to the former world champions, and Lee Jun Hui is the taller of the two by two centimetres. Six foot five, that equates to, born in Anshan City in Liaoning province. They are former world number ones, a total of 10 weeks as number one across three different spells, but currently number three in the world ranking. Liu Yu Chen was born in Beijing. They are making their sixth consecutive appearance here at the French Open, but prior to this year, their five previous trips here to Paris, they'd won one match on their five previous visits. And that was last year when they lost as the number two seeds in the last 16 in the second round to Leo Minchuk and Su Cheng Heng, who we saw just a moment ago, but already got through to the semi-final stage. So both of their matches in two straight games, uh, Danes in the first round, that was under 30 minutes, and then Ben Lane and Sean Vendy of England came from 15-20 down in the opening game. Seven straight points to close it out, 22-20, and a comfortable 21-15 in the second game, beating the English pair in 35 minutes. So our court officials are Brian uh, Kliwon from Suriname and Veronique uh, Bertrand from France, the service On judge. Right, Liu Yu Chen and Li Yun Hui, China. On my left, Hiroyuki Endo and Yuta Watanabe, Japan. Yuta Watanabe to serve to Liu Yu Chen. Love all. Play. So this men's doubles quarterfinal getting underway. The number three seeds, Li Junhui and Liu Yu Chen, the former world champions nearest to us as we look down on the court against the number five seeds, the reigning Asia champions. Hiroyuki Endo and Yuta Watanabe. Won the Asia Championships earlier this year in Wuhan. Big Gideon and Sukumono in the final. Japanese pair. Follow it up. Service over. Two, one. Three finals this year for the Japanese pair. Won the German 300 event to go along with the Asia Championships. And then lost in the final of the New Zealand 300 event. Over 
Call, service fault Five. called. Service Too fault high, fault. called Three. on Liu Yu Chen. This man, Watanabe, attempting to get through to his second semi final this year. Because if you were with us at the start of the day, the very first quarter final, he and his mixed doubles partner, Risa Higashino, beat Ben Lane and Jess Pugh in three thrilling games. difficult for the taller athletes to twist and turn and deal with shots that are placed straight at them. More difficult to get the body out of the way to give yourself the free freedom to play the shot. Japanese players got in each Five, other's way. Six. Very sharp onto that. Turks over seven five. Well, I was telling you that. Chinese pair, the former world champions, have won the last three encounters. But the last time that Endo and Watanabe actually beat their opponents of today was indeed at the Badminton Asia Championships in Wuhan when they went on to win the title. Six, seven. Well, they have beaten them this year. in such a place that the reply would come up to his partner at the net. And we're playing from Watanabe. Good rally.
What a good serve. Yeah, threaded it down the line. Liu Chen. Return of serve. Once again from Hiroyuki seven. Endo. Seven. Endo playing his third quarter final here in the men's doubles. Not only reached the final in 2014, but he was a quarter finalist in 2015 as well. And he and Yuta Watanabe are playing extremely well at the moment four-point advantage here at the mid-game interval. And it's all happening in double quick time. Seven minutes into the match. Take a look at the coach. How much shorter he is. Coach Chen Chi Chu. rounded up to seven minutes. Eleven seven play. Oh, it's a comfortable little lead. Four point advantage. It's not to say that that can't easily be closed down. That was incredible defense from Endo. What a rally! Terrific. Clever. Oh. Oh, it's got to be the longest rally of the match so far. Incredible defence early on in that rally from the Japanese players, especially from Hiroyuki Endo. Felt longer than 26 shots. Oh! Yeah. Endo's too wise and too experienced to be fooled by that. Height. Thirteen. Oh. Well left. Service over. Fourteen. Nine. Oh, 
Uh, I noticed he was struggling with his Nine. serve in the mixed doubles, but then he's serving from a different position in mixed doubles, much further back in court. Yeah, that last one was a beauty from Watanabe. Struggling with his patience, Lee Jun Hui. Oh. Yeah. Well, with the slower playing conditions, 17, I think the nine. Chinese pair struggling and perhaps getting frustrated that their attacking play isn't able to win the rallies. Oh! Yeah, but that's, they're beaten by skill 18, and tactical nine. awareness there. Extraordinary. Well, the Japanese seem to be getting through with their attacking play. Game point opportunities galore. Oh! So so been seven straight points. 10, 20. Double hit. Eleven. Touch the racket 20. of Endo before Watanabe played the shot. Yeah, there. Yeah, you can see the movement of the shuttle. Yeah. Good spot by the umpire. Game points have been well saved by the number three seeds. Play. Oh. And on their fourth Good game game point one opportunity. Watanabe. The opening game, 21 12. 16 minutes for that opening game. Now, I can leave the drop serve, one drop, 
So the Japanese coaches, Tang Kim Ho on the left as we're looking at them. He had a spell coaching in Korea, then in England, then India, now in Japan. And he's a former top Malaysian player. Lobo. So can the Japanese pair keep this going or will the former world champions find the sort of form that's taken them to two world championship medals? Not only gold last year, but also got a bronze this year in Basel. Good flick serve. Two, one. <laughs> oh, what a delightful change of pace. Very good reason why he's former world number two in the men's doubles and former partner Kenichi Hawakawa. Three all England finals. Two in the finals in total. Three, two. Seven Super Series tournament finals, but they never actually won a Super Series title. Oh, service fault called too high, too high. this time called Four. on Li Junhui. So both the Chinese players have been called for hitting the shuttle. Oh. Too high. The whole of the shuttle must be below 1.15 metres. Service over. Five, four. Yeah, that 
was an opportunity for Watanabe. drop it. Good rally. Look at the pace of this. Unbelievable. Is this the longest rally so far? Oh, it's landed on, on the line was the challenge uh, from Watanabe Endo and Watanabe. I thought it was possibly long. Here we go. It's clearly in. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Well, I wonder how long that rally was. Six, five, play. Longest rally so far. 46 shots, there we go. get through with their attack the former world champions yeah the block there from endo sat on the top of the tape decided to stay their own side oh my goodness well, the fact that the Chinese pair can't get through with their attacking play or finding it very difficult, I think shows how much they just rely on the power of their attack. And now with the slower playing conditions, they're not accurate enough with their smashes. Because smashes are slightly slower with the slower conditions, these pair are able to get their defensive shots back. It's very revealing, actually. How he climbs in the air like that, I don't know. Good return. Service over. Eight, seven. Play. Never been more than one point in it so far in this second game. Oh. Come on. Service over. Eight. Four. Strings have gone. They're trying to keep him to the back of the court, but he moves forward. 
Oh. oh, the man with the OK racket, over, the man that made the mistake nine, in the end. Eight. Flick serve. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, terrific rally. And that final smash from Lee Jun Hui was very much steeper than any of their smashes earlier. Having the desired effect, I was talking just a moment ago about how the Chinese players so reliant on their power. Well, that was much better smash. Well, it's the three-point cushion in favour of the number three seeds, Li Junhui and Liu Yu Chen. So, same 11-8 scoreline as we had in the opening game, but here in the second, the opposite pair with the advantage. Easier for the Japanese pair on those quite fast exchanges. Eleven, eight, play. Let Louis and Watana, Watanabe come here. Come here. Get ready to serve quicker. Get ready to receive quicker. No, oh, they're both getting a verbal warning. Not time right. wasting. his partner into trouble by playing cross-court there in his smash. For much, much better angles now on his smash. Lee Jun Hui. Just trying to hit through his opponents in the early stages. Now he's thinking about angle, he's thinking about placement. And that thought process, that better tactical awareness, has given the former world champion a five point advantage. Thirteen. On a run, more importantly, of five straight points. But that run has come to an end now. Over. Court 
Octane Nine. Goodness. Yeah, good rally, good pressure from Yu Chen. Look at that drive defence. And again, moves forward to the net. Yeah, well played. Thank you, Lang. Players on board. Fifteen, eleven, play. Missed it. Yeah. Service over. Twelve, fifteen. Better placement, better result as far as Adrian Way is concerned. Look at that, much steeper angle. Challenge hit. Do you share challenges? Paul in. Well, this could be crucial. <laughs> yeah, indeed, it was in. Well done, line judge. So just two points Third in it now. Fourteen. 
Oh, yes. And now, not only the steepness of shot, variation in pace too. From Legion Way. That's lovely, played with the skies. And two points away from taking this second game. Leveling the schools, service fault court. That's his second service fault. That's too high. Oh no, then misses a golden opportunity because the lift was so short. 17, 19. No, watch this block. That is the best block shot of the match so far. So just two points in it. Play. Watanabe. So game point opportunities, three of them. All the number three seeds to level this quarterfinal. Yeah, but that's well saved. Opportunities for the Chinese combination. It. It's one game all. 21 18, second game for the former world champions Li Junhui and Liu Yu Chen. And it's one game apiece. Well, last rally, the longest of the match so far. 58 shots. It was an extraordinary last rally, wasn't it? Good 
Well, this Japanese combination trying to become only the third different Japanese pair to reach a semi-final here at the French Open. Obviously, Endo with his former partner, Hawakawa, when they reached the final in 2014. But prior to that, Hirokatsu Hashimoto and Noriyasu Hirata reached the semi-final in 2011. They're going to have to refine the sort of form that took them to the opening game. They want to become that third pair. The skies drop shot from you to Watanabe. One of his favorite shots, this disguise drop shot. I can't believe it, I can't believe it. It appears that both pairs prefer playing from the far side of the court. Play. Some lead five point advantage for the number five seeds Endo and Watanabe. Seven, one. And when you consider they were. Love one down. 
equates to seven straight points. Some short from Endo. Bring it up to the hitting zone, the forehand side of Lee Jun Wei. a great interception by Endo. Took the initiative to go forward when there was barely half a chance, but it paid dividends. Drop shots, then the angled cross court smash. He's concentrating on the angle. It's a nice variation. We hardly saw any of that in the opening game from the former world champions. Interception there from Yuta Watanabe. Here it's coming. This one. Look at that. That's extraordinary. What athleticism. Did well closing down the net there, Legion Way. Six, ten. It is a five-point advantage for the number five seeds at the change of ends here in the third and deciding game. Those seven straight points from Love one down in the deciding game. Those could prove absolutely decisive. Stop, stop, stop. And not cross back, I did try. Stop. Not many drive. There's urging him to take some pace out of it. Stop it. 
block it. You only ready in your service? I did. Side, 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 control. So the big question is whether the Japanese combination can keep Play. this form going from this end of the court. As both pairs seem to have enjoyed more attacking success from that far side. Play. hits from Hiroyuki Endo turned out to be a perfect shot that one took it literally inches from the floor there it gets even lower this time and he gets the neck cord now that was lucky A mountain to climb now for the former world champions. Nine points adrift. Yeah. So it's over. Seven. Been in a run of five straight points. Add that to the seven straight points that he scored at the start of this deciding game. Two decisive runs of points, one suspects. But then again, in sport, you just never know, do you? Taken a new racket, he didn't break Play. the strings. So guessing the handle was a little sodden with the perspiration. Japanese pair got away with that because of their sort of drive lift. That one was short, but it didn't get punished. And the clear back from Lee Jun Wei was barely half court. Hey. 
longest rally of this deciding game. It. And now just three points away. The Japanese pair, Movendo and Watanabe, now becoming the third different pair from Japan to reach the semi final of the men's doubles here at the French Open since the inception of the Super Series and now World Tour. Oh, that's good play from Endo. Rushes the net. And two points needed. Before Watanabe books his place in a second semi final tomorrow. Already in the mix, doubles. Good flick serve. Match point opportunities. Oh, what a brilliant deciding game by Endo and Watanabe. After the disappointment of losing that close second game, well, they've been dominant in this decider. And they take it on their first match point opportunity. And they are indeed the third different pair from Japan. The two make it through to at least the semi-final stage of the French Open since 2007 and the inception of the Super Series. They had to work hard for it, 21-12, 18-21, 21-9 in the deciding game, a match a literally second shy of the hour mark. This is the final rally. Yeah, but look where he's hitting from. The list from the Chinese pair is so short. But understandably, Yuta Watanabe absolutely delighted. Two semi-finals to contest tomorrow for the left-hander from Japan. Match clock rounded up to the hour mark. 21-12, 18-21, 21-9 in the deciding game to Endo and Watanabe. Ce court TV, là on va quand même vérifier un petit peu l'état de fraîcheur, l'état de fraîcheur du public de Coubertin. Ça va les amis, vous êtes toujours là, vous tenez le coup. Ouais. 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 